What is going on guys welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here today I am here with the latest Fortnite news now videos of such I plan to stay on top of Fortnite being a game which is growing all so much I know a lot of my viewers who watch for Destiny content have moved on to other games while Destiny kind of picks itself back up Fortnite is one of them games they've moved on to so it makes sense I start posting more than just Destiny Fortnite is one of many games I plan on covering and if you guys do enjoy the video hitting that like button truly does help me out so let's get into it now many might have woke this morning with news of a jetpack coming to Fortnite Battle Royale it was seen via an in-game post now I saw many reports of such and to be honest it seemed to have mixed views some thought the idea would have been a fun one mid-air combat flying about the map and so forth while others were having flashbacks of card advanced warfare the thing is we actually didn't know how this jetpack would indeed work could have been like a portable boost pad say you activate it it gives you a semi boost to a certain height it could have been full on and allowed you to fly across the entire map it could have worked a hundred different ways and it's for this very reason people were wary about the implementation but it turns out the jetpack has now been delayed epic posted i believe on reddit saying the following Hey folks, this week's new item is being changed from a jetpack to the hunting rifle. We found a last minute design issue with the jetpack that's going to delay its launch and we're working on correcting it. The jetpack will lift off at a later time. Meanwhile, you'll be able to enjoy lots of no scopes with a new hunting rifle item and a new lucky point of interest on the map. So the jetpack is being reworked and while that's happening it's being replaced with a hunting rifle. Epic also spoke of a new point of interest on the map. This point of interest at the moment details are a little scarce on but I think thanks to a dude over on Twitter called Two Epic Buddies we know what this place is going to be called and where it could be located. Now according to this code it's called Lucky Landing. We see it states here within this coding eliminate opponents in Lucky Landing. Now because of the lack of looting locations on the east side of the map, it is speculated to that's where it could be located. What's also speculated is this lucky landing might be in accordance to St. Patrick's Day, which will land on March 17th, which is next month. This is the date, no doubt if correct, would have been the date we got that jetpack, but now we're getting the hunting rifle. But like you guys, I can't wait to see what this lucky landing place looks like for sure. Now me personally, I haven't had time to jump on Fortnite for the past few days, been super busy doing other things, but with the addition of the solid gold limited time mode being dropped, I'm gonna have to jump on and spend a few hours playing. This mode seems great. Basically, if you ain't aware, every drop is that of something a legendary. Sounds fun. Remember though, everybody has those legendaries, not just you. So while you might think you have an advantage finding a scar out of your first chest, odds are 30 others have done the exact same. Just remember that. Okay, so to end the video, I want to talk about the return of double pump shotguns. You know having two pump action shot is firing one, switching to the other. Firing that, this allowed you to fire super quick and was seriously effective as we all know. In the patch version 3.0.0, which was released alongside season 3 last week, Epic changed its mechanic and how it behaves in-game, basically stopping players from abusing this technique of pure ownage. If you fired the pump shot then switched to your second, you still had to pump it before firing. Now a new method has been found which allows you to get off shots at stupid high speed, similar to how it was before, but it requires much more precise timing. And to be honest, it doesn't seem anywhere near as viable to do. But this is the method. Shoot your first pump action shotty, swap to your second pump, and wait for that pump sound that signals the cooldown has ended. Shoot your second pump shotty, swap to your first pump action shotty, and repeat. Now there will be a video linked within the video description of this being demonstrated. And this guy's got it down to a T. And the way he's doing it, it makes it seem super viable, unlike what I said just. But it is going to take precise timing. And obviously, but I'm guessing here though, if you actually stop the rotation of switching and waiting for the cooldown and so forth, I think you would have to start again. Hence why we see this guy in this video who demonstrates this, he's continuously firing these shotguns. But if you do want to check it out, like I said, the video is linked within the video description and it seems quite effective for this dude for sure. So double pump seems to be back. While some love this mechanic, others hated it. It's just one of those things. But guys, on that note, I am out. If you enjoyed my first Fortnite news video, I plan on bringing these as often as news drops. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like, it really does help me and my channel out. 
Thanks as always for stopping by though and hopefully people I will see you on that next one. Always in the